Hello, my smoke friends and uh, YouTubers community. Uh, just a short video to uh, to tell tell you that I'm back um, from a short stint in the hospital last uh, Saturday. Yeah, Saturday. Uh, I realized that my finger was a bit swollen, but I thought something bit me, maybe a spider or something. And uh, by Sunday, my middle finger was purple, purplish, blackish, bluish, no, very swollen. So I went to the doctor, and the doctor immediately admitted me to the hospital, saying that it's probably an embolism somewhere. So not knowing what exactly what an embolism is, uh, I googled and I realized, okay, it's a you know something that that uh, some blood clot, clot or something is. Uh, went through my my veins my arteries to my hand and you know in the in the smallest little vein it just went there and stuck there so to cut a long story short um, after a lot of x-rays and uh, and a ct scans i then was transferred to pretoria for uh, for a possible operation because apparently uh, uh, one of the possible uh, reasons for or causes for, for something like this is a thoracic uh, thoracic syndrome. Let me just make sure. A thoracic. Yeah, that's right. The thoracic outlet syndrome. Um, apparently, here in your shoulder, there's uh, your your shoulder bone, collarbone, and and the arteries. You know, goes. Uh, goes like this and after years of irritation the artery might have a little bit of inflammation and if that those inflammation pieces or things they get loose they they get uh, they get distributed through you know through your veins so causes of that uh, either you know irritation over years or uh, smoking and uh, or blood clots with a little your blood too thick which I can't imagine with uh, the whiskey that I regularly drink, <laughs> and um, and cholesterol is also uh, other possible uh, reason for this. So um, Wednesday I was in theatre for an hour and a half uh, anaesthetics, and they did an arteriogram to determine whether it, the, the this artery is bad, so bad that they have to do an operation and fix it, or whether uh, only pills to and to thin the blood would be sufficient and uh, God willing um, because I live under his grace and uh, it was not that bad that that they they had to do an operation um, they just gave me a handful of pills that I need to drink for the next six months to make sure that every clot is being dissolved in whatever way possible if I, I had to, to do the operation, that apparently that is a, a major thing. Um, not only a major operation, but apparently very, very sore. Because what they do is they, they make room for the artery in between the, the collarbone and the first rib. So in most cases, they, they remove the first rib because they say it's, it's, not, it's not doing anything. Uh, the only thing is that you won't be able to do any contact sport. Now at 55, you don't do contact sport anymore. So I don't care about that one. So they remove the first rib, uh, and then they, they cut a piece of your veins or your arteries in your leg, and then they replace the, the inflammatory part in there where, where the, the thoracic outlet uh, is, is being damaged. So that is a major operation. Um, stint is also an option, but the uh, vascular surgeon said the problem with a stint in that area is that, you know, because of the, the flexi, uh, flexiness, it, it, it can get, uh, uh, you know, it can get worse by actually closing down totally. So yes, uh, good news is that I, it, that was not necessary. It was not that bad. My arteries were still looking quite fine, all right. Um, generally, I'm a very uh, healthy person, so so it was kind of weird why you know why this happened. 
Um, and I still don't know why it happened. So the reason for how, why this happened, I don't know. It might be just because of, of this uh, friction in my shoulder due to age. It might be cholesterol. Um, So I, the only thing that I would like to, to close, close off with is um, I've learned to, to just make sure that we live a balanced life. Um, you know, if, if we, uh, a balanced life is, is, is what's necessary in terms of, of not overindulging in smoking and drinking and eating and anything we do. Um, and uh, ensure that you live with a close relationship with uh, with God um, I do believe in Jesus Christ as my savior so uh, I'm not afraid of death uh, I'm not going to seek you know trying to to speed it up <laughs> but uh, but I'm not afraid of it and obviously my family you know we need each other in life so um, but yeah balanced life um, I think is, is, is important, which I realized over the past few days. And the other thing is I really, really need to, to increase my, my activity level. I was very active when I was, when I was younger. Um, I played league squash, so I need, to, I need to fix that. I need to get my activity back to at least a, an hour or so per day walking or jogging or something. And, uh, and eating healthy which we, we started quite a while ago, you know, cutting GMOs and, and carbohydrates and burgers and oily, oily chips and, and, and stuff. So we, we kind of already embarked on that road, so I'll just continue making sure that we, we do eat healthy foods and, uh, and, and healthy, again, balanced diet. So on that note, uh, uh, Reigns, um, enjoy your Saturday. Um, I'm enjoying another blend which I bought recently, which I found from another tobacconist in my uh, Stanwell Hans Christian Anderson. So I'm enjoying that now. Um, so uh, I'm smoking this blend. I don't know what's the blend. It, the guy just called it mix number two. I'm not sure what's in it. I'm still trying to get hold of him. But it's a uh, Hmm. It's a reasonable, reasonable blend, um, light and uh, and a good room note. All right. See you then, guys, and enjoy your balanced life, and uh, enjoy your Saturday. Thank you. Bye bye.